guys, what's going on? And welcome to day two of the 13 days of liquid lipstick. And today we have is a Smashbox always on mini matte duo. Hey guys, so I am editing right now and I just noticed on Nykaa that this duo is back on stock. Now, I do not know if it's permanent or not, but I just want to let you guys know on that. Which was sold exclusively on Nykaa during their hot pink sale. Uh, but I'm still going to do a review because one, they do come in full size version. And number two is, this is the first time I'm using a Smashbox liquid lipstick. So obviously I have to make a video on it. So yeah, before we can get into the lip swatches and the formula and all their information, do not forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right in the video. So first, let's finish off with the features of this liquid lipstick. Now, it says that it's a velvety matte formula, plush for 8 hours, color true all day, waterproof, non-drying, non-feathering, comfortable wear, weightless feel, blend of jojoba, apricot and sunflower oil and it is cruelty free as well which is amazing. Now this particular duo is priced at 990 rupees for 0.9 ml of product. Now about the quantity we will come to that in some time and the full size version is priced at 2100 rupees for 4 ml of product. So this is how the outer packaging looks like and it comes with all the ingredient list and everything at the back as usual and this is how it looks. So this is how the liquid lipstick looks like and it is quite simple with a black cap and transparent plastic tube and at the back you have is a shade name right here along over the manufacturing place. And last but not the least this is how the applicator looks like which is kind of slanted with a hole in the middle to have the product in and it applies really well and smooth. So let's talk about this duo in particular first. Now I feel that in during the hot pink sale on Nykaa, this is by far the best purchase that I've made. The reason is because both these shades have been on my wishlist for the longest freaking time. Now I remember when the shade Boss was launched back in 2016, which is in collaboration with Lily Singh. And if I'm not wrong, Smashbox at that time was not existing in India. And the next shade, Gulabe, which is in collaboration with Shobita Dhulipala, that was heavily promoted last year. I think yeah, it was launched last year. And uh, it was like the one shade which will suit for all Indian skin tone. So yeah, both of them have always been on my wish list, but I think I never picked it up because of the price point it is like 2100 rupees for like one liquid lipstick so i never went ahead and clicked on proceed it's always been on the cart but never on checkout so now let's move on to the lip swatches Okay, for my opinion on these liquid lipsticks, first let's talk about the formula. Now, formula wise, it is A++, no complaints at all, it is really comfortable, it doesn't feel like you're wearing any lipstick, it is transfer proof, like for example, it's extremely light, but it is completely intact on the lips. It is long lasting as well. And uh, if you do not have any heavy meal, like very light snacks or, you know, like just water and stuff like that, it will last even for more than eight hours I feel and also this glides on beautifully I like the applicator and the color payoff is excellent with one single dip it will completely cover your full lips which is perfect and when it comes to the formula I feel that this is like a top tier liquid lipstick like if I have to make like the top best liquid lipstick formula wise this will hands down be in the top five or top three or something of that sort. So this formula wise is amazing. Now coming to the quantity, it is only 0.9 ml of product, which is really less. Now, I never realized it until I bought it, uh, that it has only 0.9 ml each. 
Uh, now, when Nykaa came out with their matte last uh, mini liquid lipsticks, that was 1.2 ml, and for that itself, I was like, oh my god, that is so less amount of product. This is lesser than that. And I really wish in the future, I don't know if that will ever happen, but I really wish they come out actually rather than a duo, they come out with singles of 1.8 ml of product for the same price point and that would be amazing so yeah that was that about the quantity now about the shade now the shade boss it is no complaints it's such a universally flattering color beautiful deep red now coming to the other shade which is gulabi now which was heavily promoted as the one single color which will suit for all indian skin tone now i kind of beg to differ on that the reason is because my skin tone itself which is nc40 in mac that is the most common basic skin color in India. Like, I, in my opinion, it's one of the most common shades. For me itself, without makeup, this shade Gulabi kind of washes me out because it's a cool tone pink and I have like a warm tone skin color. So for me itself, it kind of washes me out without any makeup. But with makeup, it looks fine. There's no issues. And if I have to add with a lip liner or any other color, mix it up, it will look beautiful. Like right now, I'm wearing the shade Gulabe all over my lips. And then I dabbed just once with Boss and I smudged it using my finger and it looks so pretty. But on its own, without any makeup, I feel it will wash you out, especially if you are NC42 and above. So yeah, for darker skin tone, Gulabe. Well. So yeah, these were my two cents about the Smashbox always on mini matte duos. Now this wraps today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload. As well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I will try my best to do it for you. As well as follow me on my socials, which is Isishnayar on Instagram and Isishnayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.